Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy. In this quick win, I will show you how you can uh, really easily and super fast implement Instagram sharing inside your Ionic app. And first of all, we need the Cordova plugin for Instagram. So go ahead and add this plugin. And then, of course, we need the plugin for the camera as we need some picture that we can share on Instagram. So second, install the camera plugin. After those two plugins, we of course also have to install the Ionic native um, packages. So npm install Ionic native Instagram and camera. And once this is done, we can go to our app module and start with our app by importing first of all Instagram and also the camera from Ionic native Instagram and same with the camera. Okay, and then make sure to edit through the array of your providers. So camera and Instagram. Okay, um, our view is very simple in this case. Um, let's give it a name, Insta share and perhaps a color. Uh, primary and then within our content we actually um, only need two buttons and a little um, image so create an ion button um, full and on click the first button we want to load an image into our app so this is load image and the second button uh, we'll call share image so this is Instagram share. And above, we will also add an image where we display the current image, which is selected by the user. So we know what we're going to upload. Also only displayed if we actually have a current image. Okay, so that's for this. Now the actual implementation. Um, like before, we need, of course, Instagram and we also need the camera. And now it's working quite good today. Um, and also the camera options uh, might be nice. So then private camera, camera and also private Instagram, Instagram. Um, yes, like this. Um, and of course, like this. All right, so we got two functions. The first was load image. The second was share image. So with load image, we want to load a picture from the camera. So this dot camera dot get picture, and then we can specify some options. So let's create a little options object of the type camera options, of course. And we can say quality 100. The destination type in this case needs to be base 64 because um, this is what the Instagram um, plugin expects. So we use destination type data URL and then encoding type, um, I don't know, perhaps JPEG should be fine for Instagram. And finally, um, I will make this um, just to use the, the library. So you can choose by setting the picture source type, either camera, photo library or say photo album, I will pick the library. And then we can go ahead like before with our get picture function, then we will get some data back in the promise. And then we can set our current image which we should create um, and we can set our current image to the data but um, the data is not yet complete as a base 64 string so we need to append it by data image jpeg and then base 64 and then the data will follow all right, 
So this is a very simple load image function. And then to share our image, we use the Instagram plugin. If you want, you can also test if the plugin is actually installed. I will skip this for now and just use my current image. And then um, what you can see, uh, we can share a canvas ID or data URL and we picked a data URL. So if you have some canvas object, you could share this one as well. And then we got an optional caption here. So um, you could say this was copied to my clipboard because Instagram is not allowing to pre-fill the caption for images but this plugin will automatically um, copy this to your clipboard so you can paste it. You might have to inform your users about this. Um, so um, let's see, okay, no compile errors. So in that case, we need to build our app either for iOS or Android because of course uh, we have no Cordova inside our browser. So now we need to test our app on a real device. All right, so this is the app on my uh, iPhone. I will hit load image um, and then just pick an image. So we take this one and we see we got the image at the position we defined. And now we can hit Instagram share and this will bring up the sharing dialog with the option to copy to Instagram. So I will use copy to Instagram and then my Instagram opens with exactly the image we just had. Uh, we can go next and select a filter if we like to. And also at this point we can go into this field, hit paste and then we got this was copied to my clipboard, the caption we had right here. So you see, um, that's how we can easily share our image to Instagram actually. Now with a callback in the then block, um, you cannot completely be sure. In my case now, this would already be successful because we've opened Instagram with the image, um, but we actually haven't shared the image. So be aware that um, just reaching this point doesn't mean the image is actually shared. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this quick win. Um, you now know how to capture an image, set it to a variable, and then share this image with an optional caption to Instagram. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also check out the Ionic Academy for more quick wins and also in-depth training with video courses, projects, and a great community. Have a great day and take care. Oh,